Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice graphics. I'd like to get my hands on that game. You mean you haven't played it yet? We can play it on my Nintendo Entertainment System. I actually have a bit of a voice. I'm sick. My name's Jay. And I'm Terrence. It's time for some brass tacks. Back when Nintendo released the NES, it was a juggernaut. That system and that company held a monopoly on anyone that wanted to make games on the IT system. And that continued on with the Super Nintendo. They had a great run of success, and only in the Super Nintendo did they have formidable opposition in North America. I don't want to cut you off here, but the moment that they turned the blood green in Mortal Kombat was the beginning of the end for me for the way that I thought they would go in the future. I honestly think that it came down to very bad decisions in terms of how the games would be released. The implement of HD for the first time was handled poorly. They should have known better. They should have known how long it takes to make a game in HD. Why they didn't do research on this, I don't know. I mean, they had all of these years after Wii to sit back and be like, okay, we're going into the HD generations here. What are those people like with the 360 and the PS3? They didn't do that. It seems like they just like went, oh, we don't even need to read that stuff. I know we could do millions of dollars of research, but nah, we're just gonna make our own HD version of those consoles. How are ways they can fix this at this point? I'm gonna let you go first because you're bigger than me and you could probably rig me. First thing they need is new management. Now, with this whole thing of a wad of sand, that there's gonna be no management changes. This, if I was a shareholder for Nintendo, I'd be screaming for blood yeah, right that's now. Funny. All the shareholders sold their stocks back to Nintendo. Yeah, and Peace that's out. They had to do it. And Nintendo had to accept it because they have to make them happy. The fact of the matter is, the video game industry is forever changing, forever revolving, and Nintendo needs people in positions that make decisions, that will help them, that will help them come back to their years of former glory to make us want to play Nintendo games on Nintendo systems again. What's the culture over there like? Why are they not simply just saying, look, we made a mistake, we're gonna bring in new people. Why is he not stepping down? The problem, the problem with that, and it's not a problem, it's their culture and, it, and it's how they run their lives and it's how society's run, so it's not necessarily wrong. This is not a video bashing Nintendo. This is not a video bashing but, Japanese people. I like how we have to say this all the time. Well, We're not I, bashing anyone, because if we said, oh, Nintendo sucks because of Iwata would get fired, all this shit right now, the comment section and everyone would cry and then there'd be a big river and you'd all drown. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Somehow I feel that Nintendo, even at this point, still treats the rest of the world like they're outsiders. And because of that, they're resistant to look out, see what's going on in the video game world, see what's going on with other cultures. The fact that they didn't know what PSN and XBLA was? Oh my god, you know, I read that article. For you guys that don't know, there was an article released that one of the executives at Nintendo said that they had never used PSN or Xbox Live. And I thought to myself, Wait a second, this explains everything. This explains why your architect on your network is a piece of shit from like 1996. I'm just so frustrated because they have great IPs, but hardware that's decent, and again, going into the graphic debate, the hardware doesn't need to be super top of the line. I don't care. Like I've always said before, graphically, don't care. Just bring me cool new ways to play. The screen is awesome. I do like it. Essentially, it's just a giant 3DS. That's mm -hmm. what we're playing with. Two screens, they tried to take that idea, but leading into the future, what do you think they can do? They need to have a love affair with third-party publishers. They need to beg them to come back on bended fucking knee, and they need to nurture those relationships. Sony did, and this is funny, because it's Sony, it's a Japanese company. I feel that they're, they should be leading Nintendo by example. Well, you know what's kind of funny though? Sony, like financially, is not doing so hot. Mm -mm. And and even though, do you think Nintendo looked at that and went, well, well, Sony did it, but they're not doing so hot, so we'll just do our own thing and hope for the best? Well, obviously they couldn't predict how, uh, how successful the PS4 would be. And the whole concept of the PS4 is they really wanted to know what developers wanted so they could empower them to make games that much better and that much easier. Nintendo needs to take a page from Sony's playbook and be humble. You guys are not the king of the castle. Congratulations for being cash rich. They could bleed money and 
report a loss for the next 20 straight years and not go bankrupt. However, if they want to stay in this business, changes need to happen. I don't know about you, Jay, but I'm getting tired of the fact that I have to buy a Nintendo system to play the Nintendo first party games and pretty much almost nothing else is played on them, which leads me to believe maybe Nintendo has fallen too far out of touch with consoles, at least for the home market, and maybe they should consider what Sega did and become a third party publisher. Imagine that. Imagine playing a Mario game on your PS4 or Xbox One. If I went to the store and saw the new Legend of Zelda on Xbox One, my mind would just explode because Nintendo's been a cornerstone of the industry since it started. Mm -hmm. and, and to have them, unfortunately, go out doesn't need to happen. Here's what I think Nintendo needs to do. 3DS, great system, amazing games, first party and a lot of good third party games on that. Mm -hmm. Really great system. I imagine that was their home console. It would be huge. Why, you know, why, wait a minute. I think what they should do here, take the power of next generation. What I mean by that is take a leap here. Don't just put two Nintendo Wii's together and then be like, here's another system. Scrap it all. Get rid of it all. New operating system that's mm -hmm. streamlined with the new 3DS, whatever that'll be. So the new system. Make them work together so they dock. Meaning that when I walk in, they talk to each other and apps that I downloaded here go to here and they just both run perfectly fine. What I mean by that, same as like an iMac and an iPad. When you walk into the room, you can sync it. You plug it in, put your music there, put this there, back and forth. They know each other, they talk to each other. That's what needs to happen and that's what is happening. That's what I'm happy to announce. If you don't know, Nintendo has announced that they are basically going to work with a system that is has the same operating system, works together so mm -hmm. it's integrated when you walk in it knows it talks and i think they know the importance of being able to take that on the go because of 3ds but also have a strong console at home and they know what they messed up on with the wii u so they know third party is important graphically it should be just as powerful if not this new system has to be more powerful than ps4 mm -hmm. and on top of it they should know how to network their games. Networking multiplayer is so important these days and DLC and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Just copy Xbox Live and I'll be happy. Just do it. Forget the past, Nintendo. Forget all of your successes. You're the underdog now. You've technically been the underdog since the mid 90s. I don't consider the Wii a success. I consider it a fad. The amount of dust that's on my Wii speaks volumes to that. Not Wii Wii. My Wii. Mine has no dust. I clean it. To be honest, I clean mine with Windex. This whole fusion concept. Do you like it? It's intriguing, but it is the last time that I'm willing to entertain a Nintendo system. So yeah, do you guys agree? Do you think it's the last time you guys are going to really put money into it? I also think, here's what they do. Something fucking crazy. They've learned how to make a 3DS so well now and so cheap that they make so much profit off mm -hmm. of it. You ready for this? Don't pull a PS4 and Vita. Every system comes with that console included. You know what's a great thing about that? It's like the Xbox One with the Kinect, but people will actually care about exactly. having a handheld with exactly. it. Exactly. Imagine you go buy the new console. It's as powerful as a PS4, but it also comes with a 3DS type of system that like literally works with it in ways that you can only imagine you wanted the, the tablet to work. So what do you guys think? Should this be the next Nintendo system be the last system? Are you even down for that? Are you excited about the future of Nintendo? Or do you think they should become a third party publisher and hopefully have a little better luck than Sega did? Exactly. I think it's, we're on to something here, but again, why do I have faith in them? I don't know, I do, but I don't know why. You have a great heart. Me, I'm a little more skeptical. I can't even bring myself to get a Wii U right now. That's another question. Does anybody even care about the Wii U? Is it even salvageable at this point? Sound That's off a in good the question. comments below. That's a good question. Boom, 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 boom. Never do that again. Which part? All of it. It's the Legend of Zelda and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. Octoroks, Tech Tech's levers too. 
With your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go, Link. Yeah, get some. Awesome. Intense. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Your parents help you hook it up.